Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have another book today from you called Extreme Coloring New York. This is a Carlton book and the illustrator online says Beverly Lawson. Um, it doesn't say it anywhere on the book, so I looked online for the name. But they have a, a bunch of the extreme coloring books. I um, also did a video on the extreme mandalas. They have the extreme coloring world, wonderful world, great outdoors, dot to dot, and day of the dead. I really, really, really want the day of the dead and the dot to dot. I think that would be so cool. Um, but anyway, this is a company out of the UK. They sent these to me. Thank you very much. Um, I love the covers of their books. They're really foiled and shiny and they're really pretty covers. These books are bigger. I think they're 10 by 11 than a um, regular size. Yeah, see it's a little bit bigger that way. About an inch bigger this way and a little bit taller. Um... <clears throat> Real nice, big, heavy-duty books. Good quality, nice, thick. Really like it. I like that the cover inside and the back cover, they're colored in. The paper is really nice. It's a little thicker than um, copy paper. And they are... Technically, they're double-sided because on the back of every picture is a story telling you about the next, you know, the page that you can work on. So, really, you can use any kind of mediums that you would like on this because if it goes through, it's not huge because it's just going to be on the, the writing, you know, the story. But that really isn't a big deal for me. Let me turn this off. I think it's too much of a flash. Hold on. Let me get this lighting right. That would be great. There go. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not that big of a deal to me if it goes through a little bit, but this book just like the extreme mandalas it is detailed this is not a child's book this is if you really really like your little tiny detailed pictures this is the book for you it's all about new york if you're a new york person this is your book right here i wish they had one of these for new orleans where i'm from but let's just go through it really quick um this is the empire state building I'm sure y'all recognize all of these Brooklyn Bridge things like this personally I will watercolor this I will not sit here and go down you know detail by detail line by line on these bricks and things no way I would do give a wash I'd watercolor it Central Park same with this Statue of Liberty this will be really pretty when this is colored in Grand Central Terminal and I like how it gives you the history that is really really neat this is beautiful the American Natural History Museum I've never been to New York so I only know what I've seen in pictures I would love to go though Staten Island Ferry Prospect Park Chrysler building I've seen people color stuff like this before um, all the different buildings and it really really looks amazing so I would really like to try it and do you know so I don't get overwhelmed I would do a little bit at a time Yankee Stadium this would be a good one to color Coney Island I love this page Brooklyn Art Museum, the Bronx Zoo, Solomon and Guggenheim Museum. This one's not so bad. 
New York Botanical Garden, which is really cool because they got the water here and you can see the reflection of it. This one would be a little hard, but very challenging. The High Line. Isn't this beautiful? The Cathedral of St. John the Divine. The details, all the little people in here, they're perfectly drawn in. Wow. I mean, just, oh, it's just gorgeous. This is beautiful. Something like this, I would have to get my fine liners out and make this just, it would just be beautiful. I would have to make it right. Flushing Meadows, Corona Park. This is awesome. I remember seeing this on um, Men in Black. The Apollo Theater. This is the first page I saw when I opened up this book. South Street Seaport. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Um, this says between Brooklyn Bridge and Wall Street, it's the historic district of South Street Seaport. Wow. I get into all these little lines. Oh, wow. Brooklyn Botanical Garden. The Metropolitan Museum of Art. Wow, 1870. Union Square. New York Stock Exchange on Wall Street. The Rockefeller Center. Looks just like it. This is amazing. The Flatiron. It is National Historic Landmark. It was completed in 1902. In 1902, the New York Times described it as a monstrosity. The others assumed that a high wind would inevitably bring this triangular building crashing down. Well, it's still standing. The Cloisters. Oh, it's uh, part of a Metropolitan Museum. Okay. Battery Park. Williamsburg. Times Square. Love to go there. Lincoln Center. The Museum of Modern Art. George Washington Bridge. Brooklyn Bridge Park. Radio City Music Hall. St. Patrick's Cathedral. New York Public Library. Oh wow, their library is gorgeous. United Nations Headquarters, Little Italy, Washington Square Park, wow, the parks in New York, Chinatown, One World Trade Center, Carnegie Hall, Hall of Fame for the Great Americans, The Brownstone, oh, that is what these are. That is really cool. I mean, who hasn't seen these in movies? St. Paul's Chapel. The Frick Collection. Oh, Henry Frick. Oh, cool museum. I've heard of that. All right, again, this is Extreme Coloring New York. I'm sure New Yorkers would love this book, but even if you're not from New York, you would love this book. Um, if you like coloring, this kind of stuff. Um, it's a really beautiful book, well made, really good, I highly recommend it. Um, I'm going to try coloring a few pages in here and I will post them on my Instagram. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down at the bottom and I will link to where you can purchase this from Carlton Books um, down in the bottom. Just um, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.